the attic feels much further up than it probably is. Steep, steep steps. Heavy steps. And then down again. Like... Oh, I don't like the side of that. Oh, I don't like the side of... That's, that's, the, that's the barbed wire. Both our hands, I think, are arms <gasps> stuck in there. This, this symbolizes the, all the ups and downs, probably how... I, I don't want to go there yet. I, I can go here, so I'm going to go here first. I think this symbolizes the maze that the, our huge mansion is. The depths of our mind. The depths of our memories scattered left around the rooms. I mean, maybe all of this is supposed to sort of be the attic. Okay, I guess I guess this leads the way forward, so we have to we have to acknowledge truth and reality. We have to experience the pain and new before we're allowed to process and have a sense of progress. So I'm not sure if we are in a coma now or if we're just sleeping for most of the day. And I don't know. <sighs> Yeah, there we go. It's the puppet stuck. Okay, so I thought it was just a uh, limbs, but it's actually a whole puppet. So, uh, sewing machine. I mean, the sewing machine has the name Schmidt on it. So rich. So, uh, she either fully made a puppet to try to our mother fully made a puppet to try to take our soul from our crippled body that couldn't even speak and into a puppet for some twisted reason for some very twisted reason like do you expect the puppet to speak afterwards is that real my son is dead he's dead He's, she sees him as dead because he can speak back to her, probably. He's alive. He's very much alive, I can assure you, at this point. <laughs> yes, he is. He even... See, he can speak. He even can speak. That must have been very painful to try to speak. Because he probably can't normally. I don't know sure if there was bandages or just the jaw just completely dislodged or something. Why didn't you listen to him? Didn't listen to who? who? Who, father? Brother? Like, who is narrating this? He was as good as dead. You took one look at him among all that wire and ran. There was a brother! We, uh, we recognize, they recognized each other. He was as good as that. You took one look at amongst all that wire and ran. He can't have come back, Caddy. Paul. So our body was really left at war. And someone else, like a very wounded one, was sent back or something? Like, did our, did we never get, like, I don't, I, I don't even understand anymore. I, no, no, we were brought back to the mansion for sure. We were brought back because oh, we must have been brought back. And then we were brought back again from our body into this thing. We can't have come back, can he? He can't. Oh, uh, uh, I. He fell. He hit the ground. Yes, officer is Paul. The officer is Paul. He saw you. Yes, he yelled for you, or screamed, or like it. Uh, the spikes in place. Do not touch this searchlight ever again.
onward on this little museum exhibition set of Johannes. Johannes. Crying. Moans. Even more than before. <coughs> oh. Maybe this is us coughing in our sleep. Like we're half choking while we're in the attic. Oh, okay, I didn't I didn't see this path at all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Be careful, flying pigeons can push you over the edge. Maybe you can find something to inter interrupt their flight path. We must have had like a very... Did a, fl did a pigeon fly in our face in the attic and we sort of swirled around and we were sort of falling down somewhere. Go away in barbed wire. This memory shall be uncovered. Well, we apparently hate pigeons. <laughs> because they just go splat into the barbed wire. Okay, down there. They're gone. It's a suicide... Suicide squad of pigeons. It's like the wind. They can't control themselves. Tinnitus. It's a lot of tinnitus. Sanitary products, I can only assume. There's some sort of salve. Like, apply to wounds. To uh, lessen the burden of pain. So many feathers. This is one big bird cage, isn't it? Kaku. Lots of pigeons and one kaku. As they refer to it. Oh god. Tree of sorrow. Is that the family? That's a seance, I think. And it looked like Johannes could be the one to the middle right, with bandage everywhere, maybe. Underneath all the pain, we're comrades, brothers, always brothers. My children. <sighs> My sons. Forgiveness will be yours if you grant him his freedom. <laughs> okay, so it is like this. It is like this. This is why we have like two people, perhaps. Is that like we are inhabiting the same body? Me and Paul? Is that why I'm so confused? If it is him, then finish it. Is it? Yeah. All the pain. If it is him, finish it. We're comrades. My sons. Sons as one. Forgiveness will be yours. If you grant him his freedom. Something tells me that I could try jumping, but... 
that's not that's not it. That truly that is not it. Is it sort of that Paul dies for me or that both souls are in one body? Let's see. What what happens? What happens? This is stupid. This is stupid. Ugh. Oh, okay. I that was part of the experience. Okay. That was part of the experience. A harsh landing. Where's the hand? There's the hand. Pain. Born of darkness and night. Made flesh. Desecrated. Defeated. Undying. We live on in eternal plight. Because I'm not getting that the other way around. Am I, this, uh, they are living as one, sort of. It's one possessing. One body with two in it, or... Or Paul is dying in the process. Maybe they think that both can be in one body, but the other spirit dies. It's in that case, are we Paul? Originally, Johannes. <laughs> I need to just carry on. I can't. I'm changing my opinion like every time. No, we are Johannes. We must be Johannes. We have to stay true to that. We are Johannes. I don't want to be hit by those pigeons. I've, I've heard tales of what they can do. Oh, it's not. Okay, okay, it's there. This is, uh, this doesn't go all the way in there. Okay, got it. Uh. This is gonna be the wall again. It's gonna be the wall. Jesus Christ. That is so weird. But again, we apparently really hated pigeons. <laughs> Even the things that are supposed to be bars are just, are just barbed wire. They're not bars, they're bars is short for barbed wire, apparently. Um, just darkness. Uh. Telephone. You're almost there. I know you can do it. Trap the abomination and wring its neck. There's not a moment to lose. Like, didn't they say that there was a demon that came into the house as well? Is this the demon that we're trying to take, or is this something either? <sighs> or is both the one on the other end of the phone and this me, and the creature is Paul, and we're trying to defeat it so we can assume full control of the body? The, the, could be equally far-fetched as the rest. <laughs> Child's drawing. Johannes says cages are bad. Birds love to be free. And then there's a green cage. A uh, green, green bird. We were the green bird in the drawing. We don't like to be in a cage. So into the deactivated cage we go, and ascent. I see something very bright in the background. I don't like that. It looks like it's observing me from far, far away. 
Oh, actually, it's just it's probably just one of those uh, lights. I don't think about it. Okay. The attic of the attic. Where all of those lights are hoisted to now. In this area, your actions will have consequences. I do not like that. <laughs> With in right of all the things we've seen so far, I sort of do not like that. Ah! Duh. This is sort of like a surgical table. So very ambiguous, all of it. Cannot cut any of these, but I can take this off. It's a bird cage. Is that somehow Johannes? <laughs> oh, 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 Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Or Paul, or... You know what? I, I wonder if Johannes and Paul switched places, plainly. I think they simply switched places. That was very intimidating inducing, but the thing had me in its grasp. Okay, how do we do that? This thing is autonomous. Oh! Fuck the bird! Pigeons are all around us. Uh, <laughs> Trapped it in a cage, but... Oh my god, it's everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh Jesus! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! It doesn't like the light. I'm gonna go to the light. Where is this cage then? Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Is this its cage? Is this still cage? I'm so confused. Oh, 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 oh. No. No, no, no. Must like be here, right? It, this This is steered by my other personality, who locks it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay, I, I should get it out of the way actually. I should have got out of the way. I'm in the cave. Oh my god. I don't want to be in there. Where is this there? And I wait. <laughs> what? Okay, I see something here now. Okay, that should have actually probably been. Huh? Where are you coming from? <laughs> I, I I suppose I might have to do that with. Yeah. Oh. Okay, wait. Oh, oh, holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is savage. Oh. Excellent, he says. Oh, it crashed. It crashed into... Okay. I see. Do that again, why don't you? Oh, what is this searchlight doing? Oh! 
Stop that whimpering. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Well, I'm actually a bit confused. I'm supposed to make it hit this uh, I don't know, one of these. I suppose this. Huh? Bam! There we go. And now this. <laughs> okay. There. Oh, oh, oh! Where did it go now? Where is it now? Where is it now? Trying to assert the situation. I hear it, but I don't see it. Uh, <laughs> it's trying to outsmart me. And I'm trying to find out what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> you can't outsmart me because I don't know what I'm doing. But I, I think I have to lure you to this. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. You tried to ambush me. Grant healing to pain. It said my choice is one of consequences. I could have had it kill me, maybe. Maybe that's one of uh, one of the endings. But instinctively, we're gonna fight. Oh, you have bandages around your hand. Uh. You're going into the light. I guess. So I still, I, there's so much to take on here. Like, were we the crippled one as Johannes, but Johannes was transferred into Paul's body and Paul was transferred into our body, and now Johannes is perishing because the subtitles always say Johannes, but... <laughs> Chapter 4, Ad Infinitum. Reflections. What's in the reflections? Oh, down you mean? Uh, there's a door here. It looks like a door over there. This one is closer. Perhaps this is the choice there that was spoken of. And this is locked, but even if it was accessible, I wouldn't open it because I want to see what's over here regardless. A table. Fragment of mirror. For a second, you thought you could see yourself in the sparkling glass. Did we? Sm did, the, did the mirror get smashed after we didn't look what we became? Uh. And away it went. It looks like a coffin when it's elongated like that on the ground. Oh. A memory that has been locked away quite efficiently so. To die for the fatherland is your duty. That was a grandfather, I think. The father or grandfather. Corruption. You descend like an easterly wind. Like father, like 
one of his sons. So killed with the dagger handed down by our grandfather. There's a small cane as well. An old cripple. By ending him, you have wiped out weakness and corruption. No, 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 no. This is Paul again. What is going on? That, that I do not like. God, the table. God, that is, that is some work to create something like this. Obviously not a symbolism. I want to stand behind it. I respect the work that went into it to create something that looks that good. We may no longer go back. There's only forward. Three more paths to go. This looks like a gate, like a gate to heaven or hell, maybe. A well. In the park that we had a little inside indoor park. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. My dear Paul, I wanted to die for what I did to your brother. The Holy Virgin Mary has returned you to us, too. I want to live now. For the two of you. What sort of deal did you make with the devil? You had like a mother of sorrow thing going on. Hmm. This amulet. This amulet is conflicting me. So father has died and locked away in his sad memory. Mother has died and took her life, possibly by dropping herself into the well. And we, we must not forget we came from one of those sides as well. So, but, but, but we are being brought back to life. So I, I like, like, what? What? Also, these walls are so wet and you can see that the liquidness of this place is just, it's, a, it's sort of like these walls are melting. So we have only one way to go now. Yep. Uh, this would be Paul. So our father was murdered. Mother did something that I suppose can only qualify as a sacrificial suicide. And uh, our brother or us. It has a painting. I'm not sure if... I'm not, I'm not sure if that's painted by the patient or the visitor. It looks like a very a crude skeleton. You remember, almost no words were needed. You were brothers again. It's not your fault. We'll take this. I have a feeling that heaven is calling upon me, or death in itself. Purgatory, perhaps, I think, with middle ground. The hallway has extended. We have visited our locked away memories. Or a judgment somewhere wanting to show us what has led to their conclusion. Now I'm going again. Mirror. Who are we? Wipe this clean. Let us see. Uh. <laughs> 
You still don't understand, do you? No. There's no such thing as a hard victory. No. No, don't. Not for us. Why do we slash I do that? Or was that just in the memory? That was just like a weird dreamlike memory state of thing. Or Paul and I were in the same body, and Paul sort of is no more. I don't know. end up in the asylum. That makes sense if 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 we are. Two people in one, that I suppose that can easily happen. Metal and dog tag. Congratulations. You may go to work once again, Lieutenant. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Why is this here to remind me of that for, uh, full spa ding? This terrible thing. Paul. Paul von Schmidt. So we are Paul's body at the very least. Or we killed Johannes, or Johannes died as of his wounds while living in hell. And we're just imagining all this and going insane. And uh, oh, this is from our bedroom. I mean, it, it explains it in one way. It, it does actually explain it quite well in one way why we were in the bedroom and hearing lots of moans upstairs if that indeed was Johannes but we, if we have been going a bit back and forth definitely because we were Johannes in the start tin soldier he seems to be looking for you out for you just like he always used to I'm still gonna assume that it's the grandfather maybe the father itself no it has to be the grandfather if anything Soup. With some noodles, I think. So I suppose we have a straight jacket and so with all the pillows everywhere as well so we don't go banging our head everywhere. So I suppose we also have a straight jacket. Uh. It's visiting time. Oh. Uh, officer! <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not from this realm. You're not allowed to come in. Okay, officer, what is it? Mother of Sorrows? That was Johannes, wasn't it? It was full of barbed wire around him. That could have been Johannes haunting him. Or just his own memory of Johannes haunting him because, hey, we just left him there to be. Human dignity is inviolable. Yeah, you, you can't fire that dignity. 20 million people have lost their lives during the First World War. Every war, every war is hell. The never-ending suffering traumatized entire nations, destroyed families, and left people with physical and psychological scars they carried for the rest of their lives. <sighs> Credits. Lukas Deutschel. It, it looks a bit like Deutsch, which means German. <laughs> but, but yeah, Deutschel. Uh, I suppose this game is primarily German because the lip sync didn't completely, uh, wasn't completely aligned. So my closing thoughts, conclusion, if I have a conclusion, is that when, when a Malkin Khan came, which was the operation to go all in war and just run out there and charge, from what I understand, then Johannes 
Johannes ran off, ran into the war, scared, had his gun. I think he was half wanted to run away and half was prepared to shoot. But like at the very least, he had to go away from this camp because this camp was being stormed by French people, British people, uh, the allies, the general. Um, and there was a big explosion of an artillery or a mine that launched Johannes into barbed wire. And from what we understand, we just saw a tiny silhouette of someone who I assumed to be an enemy at first, was in fact Paul, who, see, by his movements, if I remember correctly, seemed to just carefully look and then just walk away. Like, I'm not touching that, and it seemed as if Johannes recognized Paul at that moment and yelled, like, don't leave me here alone. Help me. I'm basically hanging here to dry. I'm basically crucified to this barbed wire as a form of torture, torturous ex execution. Hanging here as an exhibition. Losing at least an arm. And, and after that, it's a blur like this game really was. It's a blur like the game really was, where it seems, it seems that we maybe took over as Paul at that point. Because while we assumed it was Johannes having a comatose state, it seemed more like Paul in a mental asylum for going crazy after everything that happened. And just, well, going just completely insane, not being able to discern reality from fiction anymore, seeing hallucinations, dreaming weird stuff. Weird impressions, and it also makes sense because I lost my trail of thoughts again. Like Johannes seemed to be awake. He moaned. He also screamed a bit while the the parents were around. So he seemed to be awake most of the time. He wasn't really in a comatose state from what we saw, but it's but it is very possible that. Doctor, the, 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 the weird reanimator of a doctor really mangled him up even more with his crazy experiments. Sent, wanted to send him back into war, but they sent him home, thankfully. Uh, because of the reaction, the reaction he's not our son is it can't just be that he's completely crippled, but also probably because the doctor did something. He, I, I believe he did something <laughs> that made them really, really they, they, they seemed to genuinely question if it was him or not. It could have been the face being half burned away from the blast, but also I think the doctor just mashed him up with something. And also the scream that he sometimes uttered in other cutscenes that Johannes uttered. Might just have been a repeat of the scream from the start, because yes, we played as Johannes in the intro, but Paul was there. Paul heard those screams. That's probably why we saw someone approach in the first place, and, and they just went away. So yeah, this, I assume there's so much to this. I really. I had no idea what this would be getting into and by the end. I supposed first that Johannes, we walked through his memories of the house and then we got an idea that we might be a spirit. Johannes is spirit walking around the house as a dead person. And now it's just memories of someone locked up. Which also makes sense with the whole cuckoo thing. We are apparently a cuckoo, and cuckoo is also an old-fashioned word for someone who is a lunatic, someone who is in 
a mental asylum. We were the cuckoo. Not Johannes. That had me confused. Why would Johannes be called a cuckoo? And maybe the pigeons were just what we loved. He loved pigeons. We love our pets, naturally. That's why we have pets. To comfort us. To not be us alone. To have something to care for. Or more likely personificate them. To have someone for care to care for. And in our memories, the pigeons turn on us. Because even the pigeons are disgusted by what we did. To make it hurt even more in our memories and dreams. Hmm. I had some really weak moments in the game, but when I heard you had a sob and when he screamed and when it just built up to seeing, going through this attic in the twisted, in a twisted darkness, going through a labyrinth of the attic, it reminds me of my own dreams because every now and then I was terrified of our old basement where I grew up. Other family members go so far as to saying that it's even haunted. And I don't live there anymore. I still sometimes dream about it. And it's always so much bigger. It's sort of like an entire dungeon with many levels. Sort of like a hotel guest room. A selection of hotel guest rooms that haven't been visited in so long. Like very old fashioned, which which has a lot of cobwebs and beds and like I sort of explore down there into a place where no one has wandered for hundreds of years. I suppose Paul had something similar in his memories here. Where he just walk everywhere in the house, like he walked from he walked up and down in this attic like area. And I'm rambling again. I'm so sorry, I'm rambling again. If you enjoyed this rambly playthrough. And, I, and I'm sure that this experience was less of a mess than my mind and rambling is right now. If you enjoyed the, me going through this as a first impression playthrough, then you might also enjoy, if you are entirely nuts and crazy <laughs> to want to watch more stuff that I make, then you might also enjoy Amnesia the Bunker. That is also a first impression playthrough. Most of my content is. Otherwise, it will be specified in, in the description, but that's my thing. I walk into the unknown. That's when everything is fresh and not least genuine. So, thank you so much for listening to my very rambly and probably misinformed words. I probably miss, I probably misanalyzed the shit out of this, but it's my impression. So, Thank you for watching, and have a pleasant night, please. Good night. Oh, 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 Jesus. What am I looking at? That better be a very, 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 very close up on a door. That must be a very zoomed in portion of the door because those are some astronomical claw marks <laughs> oh my god well